Well well well, look at what we have here. Fresh meat. Well. Since I am on hiatus between meals, I might as well speak to you momentarily. I am a Draco Prime Reptoid Extraterrestrial. We hail from a planet called Thuban, which orbits the sun star Alpha Draconis in the constellation of Draco. In ancient times on the planet you call Earth, Alpha Draconis was the North Pole star. The Draconians are the fiercest breed of reptilian species in the universe. We Draconians are the heirs to the universe and should be treated as royalty by all other species in the universe. I am of the royal line of the Draconians, called the Siakar. Draconians can range from 14 to 22 feet tall, weigh up to 1,800 pounds, and have the strength of 16 men. As you can imagine, such massive creatures will have an equally massive appetite. To satisfy our appetites, much like a farmer would cultivate a large portion of land and then plant and grow the food he would one day harvest to eat, well, we Draconians cultivated the planet Earth, and we created and placed you human beings on the planet Earth as our food, that we periodically come back to harvest and eat. Earth is like our own personal McDonald's and grocery store for human meat. We created religion on your planet to control the mind of people to make you better cattle, ripe for the picking. We have made deals with all the human world leaders and religious leaders since the beginning of time to sacrifice human flesh to us so that we may eat. This is where the ritual of human sacrifices and blood sacrifices come from. Religious rituals, rites, offerings, and blood sacrifices on altars are all made to us. This is why the pyramids in Egypt were designed so that one side was facing Alpha Draconis and the Draco constellation. This is why Draco was called the lawgiver in ancient Greece. We created the Bible. We are the gods of your Bible. This is why ministers are called fishers of men, because men are like fish that need to be caught and fed to us. This is why it states in the book of Leviticus, chapter 6, verse 14 through 21 of your Bible, that God loves the sweet smell of burnt offerings and cooked flesh. We love to eat flesh, blood, and meat. Human beings witnessed us eating meat, and this is where the practice of cannibalism and meat eating amongst humans came from. This is why there is so much cannibalism mentioned in the Bible. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 17 verse 8 and 9, it states, Whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, that do not offer the burnt offering or sacrifice unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, to offer it unto the Lord, that man shall be cut off from among his people. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 26 verse 29, it says, And you shall eat the flesh of your sons, and the flesh of your daughters shall you eat. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 verse 53, it states, And thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body, the flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters, which the Lord thy God hath given thee. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 19 verse 9, it says, And I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters, and everyone shall eat the flesh of his friend. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 5 verse 10, it states, Therefore the fathers shall eat their sons, and the sons shall eat their fathers. In the book of 2 Kings, chapter 6 verse 28 and 29, it says, And the king said unto her, What aileth thee? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give us thy son, that we may eat him today, and we will eat my son tomorrow. So we boiled my son, and did eat him, and I said unto her on the next day, Give us thy son, that we may eat him, but she had hidden her son. And, in the book of Revelation, Chapter 19 verse 18, it says, that you may eat the flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and the flesh of the men that sit on the horses, and the flesh of all men, both free and slaves, both small and great. You see, the Bible is a cookbook. This is where the premise for movies like V, Soil at Green, and To Serve Man came from. Humans are the fruit of the universe. You can barbecue humans, boil humans, Royal humans, bake humans, sauté humans. There's, um, human kebabs, human creole, human gumbo, pan-fried humans, deep-fried humans, stir-fried humans. There's pineapple humans and lemon humans, coconut humans, Oreo humans, pepper humans, human soup, human stew, human salad, human in potatoes, humans in hummus, human burgers, and human sandwiches. Hispanic people taste spicy, Indian people taste like curry, Asian people taste like duck sauce, white people taste like ham, and black people taste like chicken. Just like you humans and your Thanksgiving turkey, 
we like to eat white meat. We eat any amputated limbs. We eat the dead bodies out of graveyards. We eat the female's menstrual cycle blood from discarded sanitary napkins and tampons. We eat the foreskin from circumcisions. We eat the placentas and afterbirth when babies are born. We are blood suckers of the poor. We drink the blood donated to blood banks. Human beings have copied our eating habits. You want to be us, but you don't realize that oral sex is a form of cannibalism. Men eating pussy, and women swallowing semen, is cannibalistic. When people are abducted by us, they become dinner. This is why there are so many missing children, we made them a quick snack. We get a rush when we get to eat a person whose hormones are racing because they are scared. It tastes so good, it's like a drug high to us. We like to capture a person, torture them, terrorize them, tenderize them, and get them really scared right before we eat them, so that they'll be seasoned just right. Your soul is like a divine nectar which we consume, and the rapture, the harvest of souls mentioned in your Bible, will be a great feast for us draconians. Human beings, you are nothing more than food for your draconian gods. We will eat all of you, and then poop you out after you have been turned into shit. You will be both the food for the gods, and the shit, of the gods. And if shit can be used in a farm as fertilizer for new crops, then the crops which grow from God's shit must be magnificent. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.